I'm happy to take uh, questions. Any questions? Don't be shy. Hi, uh, I am Nero from University of Iowa. Uh, my question is what, how to deal with uh, if you have opposite data. If you have partially opposite data as published in recent peer-reviewed journal. Against what is published? Yeah. Ah, a good question. I think that's interesting. <laughs> if it is true, it is certainly interesting. So we, and this happens, and we publish those papers. Actually, this year we had a paper that was considered that was against the common opinion, but it was so well done that uh, we knew when we would accept it, it would perhaps generate a lot of comments and, and, and maybe letters, re responses. But if it is well done of high quality, uh, yes, we take it. We, we, basically, a journal wants to represent uh, evolving new knowledge, right? New information that is relevant for everyone. Other questions? Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Maha. I'm from the old world, uh, from Kuwait. I have a question, because in our region, many things are quite new to us. And sometimes you want to share with the world some information which may be old for you, but we think it's very exciting and might give a new insight. That have, but may I found out that the minute we uh, send a paper about something, it's one well known fact. Nobody will accept it, even though we are describing our own um, experience. So how can we tackle this? Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So uh, I recognize your point. So if I paraphrase your question, basically you are saying we may have experiences in a particular context in a particular area, for instance, a particular country, and, uh, but it, has not, it is not applicable perhaps to the world, then journals may be less likely to accept it. Although, and you are saying, but it is very relevant for us. So this relates, I think, to the appropriateness of the choosing the right journal, because uh, then maybe a local journal would be more suitable. Um, unfortunately, we cannot publish everything in, in a journal. There is a limit, and we have to apply a priority system, so this can happen. Another example is sometimes we receive uh, papers of an interesting experience in a single patient. But there also the sky is the limit. I mean, there are so many experiences. So we, we just get are unable to publish all of that. And then you have to find another venue for publication. My name is Ramesh. I'm from the University of Kansas Medical Center. Um, I checked my hypothesis in the cell lines, and I also translated my results in the primary uh, AML patient samples, is the in vivo data is mandatory so for this submission. Yeah, but, but of sometimes, we, uh, indeed we are saying uh, cell line experiments are interesting, but to make them relevant for the clinical situation, we also would like to see primary data. If they are available, it still is no guarantee that the paper is going to be accepted because there are, of course, of course more aspects to it. If there is a novelty in the work, uh, still like um, you guys require the in vivo data? So if, if we say we require additional data, we will, ask, we will give you the option of a revision, right? So if, if we say this should be fixed, fix, please fix it. But sometimes we give it not a high enough priority. Then we don't ask that. We just say we don't, cannot publish it. It happens. Thank you. Hi, Alfredo Corona from Guadalajara. Usually in experimental studies, we are looking for differences. But what happened when we didn't find them? Um, how is the manage you perform in uh, non-significant uh, results studies. 
Negative studies, uh -huh. non-significant. Yeah. We, we publish negative studies when yeah. they address an important question. Okay. But again, we do not always publish negative studies. It is, it is uh, yeah. but we f see it as a responsibility to do it when it is helpful to know that something doesn't work. So we, that is what we do. Yes. Patrick Wuchter from Heidelberg. I have a question regarding after I submit a paper, sometimes it takes weeks or even months until I get any kind of feedback. And I'm always wondering, shall I write a letter to the editor and ask him what happened to our sure. paper? Yeah. Are you annoyed by this? Would you say, don't do no. it at all? No, this do will it. make everything no. worth? Or would you say, well, maybe you should just try and ask? Yeah, thank you for asking that question. I would write, but don't do it within uh, two weeks or three weeks. But after four weeks, you could write, I think. Doesn't happen often. But we are fast. Uh, but I think you can do it. I don't think anyone is annoyed. Okay. Yes? Hi, this is Andrea Wong from Bloodworks Northwest in Seattle. So I have a question regarding the priorities that you mentioned that the Blood Journal has. Can you elaborate more on that? And is it really on the areas that, are your, that blood is interested in publishing more in cancer-related research versus more basic research or transfusion-related research. Can you please elaborate more on your priorities? Yeah, and yeah. I'm just curious if it regards the area yeah, of yeah. studies. So I, you are asking absolute key questions. So, so last night we had an editor's meeting at Blood, and basically we had a heated discussion about this topic. How do we decide what we should publish or not? Because there's no objective criterion. So of course there's quality, of course there's novelty, of course there is impact. Is it an important question that is going to be addressed? But still there is room for subjectivity. Uh, but those are the three criteria. At Blood we are not more interested in hemonc than in basic hematology or benign hematology. We are not. We are interested in the best papers in any, in any area. Blood represents the whole of hematology, uh, basic, clinical, whatever. Uh, but it should be of sufficient interest and new. And this is how we consider it. And when we send it out for review, we ask reviewers also to assess these according to these criteria and give scores for that. And then we discuss it. And Often we discuss it among the editors. It's not a single editor. If there is an issue, we will discuss it among the team. Okay, thank you. I always learn from these interactions because the questions that you ask are also revealing to us. Thank you for your input and feedback and for joining us and have a nice annual meeting. Thank you very much.